We like a good book, we hear you do too So we thought we'd read a special story for you Story Surprise with Anthony and Lauren <laughs> Hey, welcome to another Story Surprise Hey! Hello! Hey, diddle diddle! Whoa! Hey! You weren't thinking of doing Story Surprise without me, were you? No, uh, we, we would never. never. Mick, what's this all about Hey Diddle Diddle Diddle? diddle? You know, Hey Diddle Diddle, the song. <laughs> you know, it's got the dish and the spoon and the cow and the moon. Hey Diddle Diddle. Whoa, that sounds like complete nonsense. It is. Ha! That's why it's my favourite! And a one, and a two, and a you know what to do! Whoa, 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 whoa! I don't know what to do! Hmm? Huh? What are the chords? Oh, G, D, and C! You know what to do! Hey, diddle, diddle, the cat and the fiddle, the cow jumped over the moon! The little dog loved to see such fun in the dish and away with the spoon! Thank you! Oh, thank you! Oh, so fun! Wow, that was amazing, Mick. Yeah. Oh, I think I'm getting the hang of it. Ooh. Let's try that again. Psh, <gasps> I've got props. Ooh. Mm. And a one and a two, and you know what to do. Hey, hey diddle, diddle, the cat and the fiddle, the cow jumped over the moon. The little dog loved to see such fun as the dish ran away with the spoon. This in 1998. Oh. And this is my spoon. Oh. 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 Story Surprise Band, are you there? Yeah. Huh. Excellent. I know how we can make an instrument with spoons. Wow. Well, all you need to do is bang it on something. Huh. Sorry, parents. <laughs> I'm going to use this bin. <laughs> One, two, three, two, two, three, play uh, your spoon with me. Hey, diddle, diddle, the cat and the fiddle, the cow jumped over the moon. The little dog loved to see such fun in the dish ran away with the spoon. Oh, <laughs> well done, Story Surprise Band. Take a bow. Oh, oh, thank you. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. Uh-huh. <laughs> hey, this Spoon has given me a very good idea for art and craft Ooh, today. Spoon. Ooh, we can even use it to tell our story. <laughs> What's our story? <laughs> Come on! Wait, wait! wait. Come on, you gotta. Oh, don't leave us hanging like that! Okay, everybody, today we are going to be making spoon puppets for our craft activity. Here are two that I have already made. This one is Papa Bear and this one is Mama Bear and I thought we could make Baby Bear together. So what you're going to need is a wooden spoon, big or small or in between, it doesn't matter. Paint brushes, water and paint, any colours you like. I have black and white bloop, and red because I'm going to mix these together to make brown but if you already have brown paint you could do that for your baby bear. I'm going to use my paintbrush and my paints and mix them all together to make the colour brown. Let's see what happens. A little bit of black, a little bit of white, a little bit of red. Maybe some more white. Maybe some more red. Let's do it. I have just given my spoon a coat of paint. This is going to be my baby bear. My baby bear is brown, but your baby bear could be any color you like. Now we need to draw the face on our baby bear. You could use a texture, or you could paint on your face. I'm going to try and paint mine. Here we go. My baby bear has two eyebrows, two eyes, a nose and a mouth. Now that looks pretty good, just like that. You could leave your baby bear as it is, or you could draw on some ears or paint on some ears. I have a special extra material that I'm going to show you. This material is sticky foam. One side peels away and we can stick this onto our spoon. I'm going to cut out some ears 
and a little bow tie. If you are going to use scissors, make sure you ask an adult first and ask them for some help. Here we go! And here we can see I've used my sticky foam to create a bow tie and teddy bear ears. Now I have three bears, baby bear, papa bear, mama bear, and I've made something else. I've made an extra spoon puppet today. Ta-da! Her name is Goldie and she has locks of golden hair. Papa bear, mama bear, baby bear, and Goldie. Hmm, I wonder if you can guess what our story surprise is going to be today. Do you know? Let's go and find Anthony and Mick and see if they can guess. Come on! Oh, story surprise! Story surprise. Oh. <laughs> Woo! Woo! He's okay! <laughs> <laughs> Good trick, Mick! Hey, check out what we made! <gasps> cool! Yeah, they are teddy bear spoon puppets and a person spoon puppet. Yes. Okay, so we've got three bears and one person. Mm -hmm. Today's story surprise is three blind mice. Yes! Love that story. No! no. Here, let me help you. Drum, Drum roll, roll, please! please. On your knees! <laughs> Today's story surprise is... Goldie Goldilocks, Goldilocks and, and the Three Bears! Woo! Let's use our new spoon puppets to tell the story for us! <laughs> Great idea! Let's get started! Goldilocks and the Three Bears! Once upon a time, there was a little girl named Goldilocks who went for a walk in the forest. Pretty soon she came upon a house. She knocked, but no one answered. So she waltzed right on in. At the table in the kitchen, there were three bowls of porridge and Goldilocks was hungry. This porridge is too darn hot! She exclaimed. So, she tasted the porridge from the second bowl. Boo! This porridge is too cold! She said. So, she tasted the last bowl of porridge. Ah! Oh yeah! That's the good stuff! This porridge is just right! She said happily and she gobbled it all up. <laughs> 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 After she'd eaten the porridge, she decided she was feeling a little tuckered out. So she walked into the living room where she saw three chairs. Goldilocks sat in the first chair to rest her weary feet. Poor! This chair is too big! She exclaimed. So she sat in the second chair. Oh man! This chair is too big too! She whined. So, she tried the last and smallest chair. Oh yeah, that's the good stuff. This chair is just right. <sighs> she sighed. But just as she settled down into the chair to rest, it broke into pieces. <gasps> How dare that chair. Goldilocks was very tired by this time. So, she went upstairs to the bedroom and lay down in the first bed. Ooh, no! This bed is too hard! Then she lay in the second bed. Yuck! This bed is too soft! <sighs> then she lay down in the third bed. Oh yeah! That's the good stuff! This bed is just right! Goldilocks fell asleep. As she was sleeping, three bears swung open the door and waltzed on in. Room sweet home, growled the Papa Bear. It sure is sweet, said Mama Bear. It's breakfast time, said the Baby Bear. Someone's been eating my porridge, growled the Papa Bear. Someone's been eating my porridge too, said the Mama Bear. Someone's been eating my porridge and they ate it all up, cried the Baby Bear. I was looking forward to eating that very much. Someone's been sitting in my chair, growled the Papa Bear. 
Someone's been sitting in my chair too, said the mama bear. Someone's been sitting in my chair and they've broken it all to pieces, cried the baby bear. Grr, I built that with my bare hands, said Papa Bear. They decided to look around some more, and when they got upstairs to the bedroom, Papa Bear growled, Someone's been sleeping in my bed! Someone's been sleeping in my bed too, said Mama Bear. Someone's been sleeping in my bed, and she's still there! exclaimed Baby Bear. Just then, Goldilocks woke up and saw the three bears. She screamed, Bears! Bears? Where? Oh, wait. Ha! That's us! said Baby Bear. Goldilocks jumped up and ran out of the room. She ran down the stairs, opened the door, and ran away into the forest. And And she she never never bothered the bears bears ever again. again. The end. That story was very good. I very much enjoyed reading that with you. (laughs) I think the moral of the story is it's best not to go into people's homes. And eat their porridge. And break their chairs. And take naps in their beds. (sighs) I tell you what, Lauren, you did an absolutely phenomenal... Phenomenal job on crafting those spoons. Oh, thank you, Anthony. Mm. I do enjoy a spot of craft. (laughs) Hey, speaking of craft, what time is it? (gasps) It's It's craft craft o'clock! What goodies do we have this week? Oh, I'm very excited about this week's entries. The first one is from Alex. Alex has... Painted an incredible multicolored butterfly. Ooh, look at all the colors. <gasps> Just beautiful. We've got heaps of butterflies on our wall. We sure do. We love butterflies. How about we give three cheers for Alex? Hip it. Huzzah. Huzzah. What do we have next, Anthony? And next up, we have this incredible Lego building from Patrick. Wow. Check it out. Would have taken ages to do. Yeah, there are three levels in this building. That's amazing. Uh, three cheers for Patrick. Hip, hip. Ha, ha. Woohoo. Yaha. And last but not least, <gasps> we have this incredible drawing by Dominic. Dominic. Dominic has drawn a Tyrannosaurus Rex. Let's all growl like a T Rex. One, two, three. Grrr. Three growls for Dominic. Hip hip. Grrr. Hip hip. Grrr. Hip hip. Hip Alex. Patrick. Dominic. We really like your artwork. We hope you had a ball. It is awesome. And now it's on the lawn. Hey. If you would like to make your own craft creation for Craft O'Clock, we would love to see it. Mm. Oh, you could do a drawing. Or you could make your own spoon puppet and send us a picture of it. Huh. Like the bear here. Grr, yes. Make a spoon puppet, please. Yar. I sound a bit like a pirate. Ha ha. <laughs> Get an adult to take a photo of it. <laughs> and send it to... The Lauren and Anthony email at gmail.com. If you're watching us on Instagram, double tap this video to send us some love. If you're watching this on Facebook, give us the big old thumbs up. If you're watching this on YouTube, hit subscribe to stay up to date with all our videos. Uh, Yeah. By doing these things, it lets us know that you're enjoying Story Surprise. And we can continue to make cool episodes. Woohoo! I don't know about you, but I'm getting pretty hungry for porridge. Oh, me too. (gasps) Thanks for joining us on another Story Story Surprise. Surprise. Ooh, I hope my porridge isn't too hot. Ooh, hope mine's not too cold. I hope my porridge is just right. See you next time. We like a good book. We hear you do too. So we thought we'd read a special story for you. Story Surprise with Anthony and Lauren. Lauren.